Port crews continue to fish cars out of a bayou, out of Bray's Bayou, where they'd been dumped. Police say most of these vehicles were actually used in crimes, many of them from decades ago. Yeah, and our Matt Doherty is live in southeast Houston, where the work is continuing this hour right now. Matt? Yeah, it's a slow process and the crew certainly have their work cut out for them. Take a look at this one that was fished out of the bayou just a couple of hours ago. You can hardly make out what it is. It's so rusted and muddy. We believe it's a Chevy Blazer though. So far today, we also saw a Ford Mustang convertible pulled out as well as another black pickup truck, a couple other cars too that we couldn't identify because they were so weathered. Now the cars recovered so far make up for only a fraction in the total number of cars. Divers have located in Bray's Bayou. Two cars were pulled out yesterday. Harris County is hoping to recover 65 vehicles over the course of the next several weeks from both Bray's and Sims Bayou's. The vehicles they're pulling were identified during a dive survey performed five years ago by Texas EquiSearch. Last year, the county conducted a 10-day test removal project. 20 cars were pulled. Police say most of them had been reported stolen. However, one of them was used as a getaway car during a holdup that happened nearly 20 years ago. Another car they pulled, that one was connected to a violent home invasion robbery. That one happened back in 2000. A county spokeswoman says there are so many reasons why these vehicles need to be pulled. Those missing cases reports, those um, uh, stolen vehicles that have been reported, and also environmental issues of, you know, of all the toxins that these vehicles could contain and be releasing into our bodies. Now, the project is expected to take 60 days or until the funding runs out, $218,000 was appropriated for the work. Now, back out here live, if you can see, there are a couple of those blue buoys out there in the water, these flotation uh, objects. Now, what those are, are those are markations of where more vehicles have been identified. Those spots are expected to be excavated today, and those cars will be extracted early, uh, later this evening. Of course, we're going to keep following this story and bringing the latest updates on these cars that they're pulling from the bayou. But for now, we're live in southeast Houston this hour. Matt Doherty, KHU 11 News. Not an easy job in this heat either. Thanks, Matt.